Before Jesus got crucified, he was arrested. Because you have seen so many miracles. And it was the same in those days. He had such a good influence on the life of thousands of people. Many people really loved him. But he had a lot of enemies. A lot of people didn't like him. And it's the Jewish people they were oppressed by the Romans. So the Jews himself, themselves they could not judge him. They needed the Romans to do the dirty job. So they caught Jesus and brought him to the Roman authorities and to get rid of him they brought up a lot of false witnesses. They didn't have any crime to accuse him. They they tried to find any law that he has broken. But he had not broken any law. He was completely innocent. 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 Jesus Jesus was standing in front of Pilate. And now Pilate is looking at this man. Imagine this scenario. You have the savior of the world. Bound in chains. And so the savior of the world, Jesus Christ. He's yes. standing he's standing in front of Pilate. And all the false witnesses are there. Accusing him of so many bad things. And now Pilate starts asking questions. Pilato gamucha kapenju penji. He say no Jesus. Epenje Yesu. What do you say? Inke yerango. But Jesus remains quiet. Yesu beruling. What do you say to all those false accusations? But Jesus does not even say one word. Defend yourself. And Jesus is quiet. Yes, Beduling. Come on, they are accusing you. Tell, tell me something. But Jesus is quiet. Yes, Beduling. And Jesus is completely quiet. Yes, but Ling. And the governor, he is surprised. Jadi jadi ia gamutal. What is happening here? Dole mango ke mubeti. He has seen so many prisoners in front of him. Eh, mabusi mapolo berunuti wange. Facing a death penalty. Majungo lo tai wigi. Just like Jesus, he was facing a death penalty. Jalu Yesu dewa ngo jungo lo tai wie. And he was surprised. Ia tal. What is going on? Dole mango ke muti mire. He does not defend himself. What is, what is happening here? So he has seen so many other prisoners trying to defend themselves, engaging in a debate, trying to fight for their lives, bringing up every argument that they can bring up just to save their lives. But Jesus was different. He was completely different. He was different than any other person on this planet. He's completely unique. He's matchless. He's wonderful. He's marvelous. And he's the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Hallelujah. Amen. So this savior of the world is standing in front of Pilate falsely accused but completely quiet. And Pilate he was maybe like 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 some people here. He, 
He has heard about Jesus already. He has heard all the rumors about this Jewish preacher. He heard about this man doing all the miracles. Just like many of you. He heard rumors of this man calling himself the king of the Jews. And he heard that thousands had listened to him. And he, has, and he has also heard that they wanted to kill their own king. He saw the Jews wanting to kill their own king. So now at this time, Kawani, when Jesus was standing in front of Barabbas, my Yesu Ushungu Iwang Pilato, the Romans they had one one habit. Uh, one thing they did every year. Just to please the Jews. They had suppressed them. And they were always afraid of riots. So they tried to do something to please them. And it was always at the time of the Passover. It was the highest feast that the Jews were celebrating. And the habit was like this. Every year, they took one Jewish prisoner and released him to the crowd. They just freed one criminal. And so Pilate, he thought of doing the same thing right now. Because Pilate, he didn't want to make a decision about Jesus. So he thought, I just bring up two prisoners. One of them was Barabbas. And the other one was Jesus. And he thought, I just place those two in front of the crowd. And I'm sure they will release Jesus. I'm sure they will release the innocent one. So he had Barabbas and Jesus. And he placed them in front of the crowd. Barabbas he was a criminal. He was caught in a riot. He was caught when he was fighting against the Roman Empire. And he was accused of treason. He was facing a death penalty. He was facing a death penalty. And so Pilate tries to let others make the decision. He's waiting for the crowd to respond. And now the Bible says, He, said them the, he asked them this question. Which one of these do you want me to set free for you? And the crowd, they shouted with one voice. They said, Barabbas! Barabbas! And Pilate, he was confused. Why do they want the criminal? They, they willingly, willingly choose a criminal. They choose the guilty over the godly. The violent over the virtuous, the robber, over the redeemer. They willing, they choose a criminal. And they also choose something else. They always choose something else. They, they choose something temporary. You know Barabbas? Barabbas, Barabbas he was a freedom fighter. He tried to fight for the freedom in the here and now. But Jesus on the other side. He was talking about an eternal kingdom. He was talking about something that will last for all eternity. He was talking he was talking about eternal life. Eternal salvation. 
Both marondo, kurondo. So they choose the temporary against the eternal. And it's the same choice that you have today. Choosing the temporary against eternal life. And now here comes the striking question. Here comes the most important question for tonight. Please listen. Listen. Are you listening? Are you listening? The question. What Pilate asked Jesus. Or he asked the crowd. What then shall I do with Jesus called the Messiah? Do you hear it? What shall I do with Jesus called the Messiah? This question is sticking out. What shall I do with Jesus? It's a very pertinent question. It's a personal question. If I release Barabbas the criminal, then what shall I do with Jesus? And the crowd... They again answered with one voice. They said, Crucify him! Crucify him! And Pilate, he's confused again. What is going on? So he asked the crowd, What has he done wrong? What, what is wrong with this man? And again they shout, Crucify him! Gure! And now Pilate he gives the wrong answer. Uh, Pilato, he responds in a wrong way. Gigam, gigam, kuyore, he tries to put the question on others. He tries not to answer himself. And he's ignoring his conscience. He knows what he does is wrong. His conscience is speaking to him. Against his conscience. He's going against the Holy Spirit speaking to him. He is very aware that what he's doing is wrong. He knows that he is a sinner. He knows that he has done sin. And he knows that he's in the very act of committing a very bad sin. And I'm sure the Holy Spirit is convicting him. And my prayer for, to, for you tonight is the same thing. That the Holy Spirit will convict you. And many of you know the very, th very same thing. That you have done so many wrong things in your life. That you have broken the law of God. That you have insulted God. That you have been living a life without Jesus. And the Holy Spirit is speaking to you. Convicting you of sin.